Example 7. Consider the line R 1 comma 4 plus T minus 2 3. Determine if the point minus 3 10 is on the line. Write equation of a line parallel to the given line which passed through origin. Okay, So there are two parts to this. The first part is to find out whether this point lies on this line or not. The way to do it is that we will plug in the value of 3 for x, correct, and then see what value of t satisfies. Now if the same value of t gives us this 10 as my value, then it is perfectly fine. Or what we can think about is we can check the value of t for x and y values and if both the values of t is the same that means the point lies on the given line correct so if we have to do the second way then the best way is to split this into its x and y components correct and that is what we call parametric equation the idea of handling vector and parametric equations together for all these questions is that basically vector equation is and enveloping the parametric equations. So it's kind of enclosed in it, right? So if we kind of break it up, we get parametric equations. So let me show you that part first. So we say R is equal to this. So we say let any point on the line x, y is equal to 1 comma 4 plus t times minus 2, 3, correct? Now from here, these are my x components, right? So my x components here are any general point. This is my fixed point, and that gives me the direction number, correct? You remember the direction numbers A and B? So these are my kind of fixed points, and T is variable, correct? So from here, we can write x is equals to 1 minus 2T, correct? This is what we can write for x. And for y, we can write y equals to 4 plus 3t. That's what we can write for y. So if we split it in the, these two, and they still represent us the same equation r. Do you understand? So it's kind of different form of the same thing. Correct. Now, we are given x as minus 3, so let's plug in minus 3 here and find t. So when I do so, I get minus 3 equals to 1 minus 2t, correct? Now I'll bring 2t this side and 3 that side and I get 1 plus 3, which is 4. And so t is equals to 4 divided by 2, which is 2 for me. So I got this value of t for the x coordinate. Let's see what do we get here. So the y value given to us is 10. So let's put 10 here. 10 equals to 4 plus 3t. And let's bring 3t. Okay, let's bring 4 this time here. So we get 10 minus 4 equals to 3t, right? Or 10 minus 4 is 6. So we get 6 and divided by 3 equals to t. And 6 divided by 3 is also equals to 2, right? So we get the same 2, green. Do you see that? So same value of t. So if I plug in t as 2, if I plug t as 2, we get the point minus 3, 10. Okay, so let's check it out. So if I plug t as 2, what do I get? The equation becomes 1 comma 4 plus, we'll write t as 2 to minus 2, 3, correct? So we get 1 comma 4 plus minus 4, 6, right? And when we do this math, we get 1 minus 4 as minus 3, wow, and 4 plus 6 as 10, perfect. So that's the point on our line, right? So x, y is equal to minus 3, 10. So this point lies on the line, correct? Now part B is write equation of a line parallel to the given line which passed through origin. Now if it is passing through origin, then 0, 0 is on the line, correct? So our equation is, in that case, 
it could be written as r equals to origin is 0 0 so I should not but I will uh, <laughs> uh, plus so we can use any variable instead of t I can use s right parallel means same direction number right so it's minus 2 3 correct so this is saying as s times minus 2 3 if I write equation like this that means it is going through origin right so you can kind of sketch this line also and uh, let me make a beautiful sketch here itself uh, minus 2 3 will be moving this side so I have room here so that's good <laughs> trying to utilize my space so that's the origin so first point is at the origin and the direction says minus 2 for x so let's go 1 and 2 units and 3 for y so we get 1 2 and 3 see the flexibility of not having a graph paper so you can do the way you like it so that's your line right this line we can extend it either side correct so that is the line which is through origin and is parallel to the given line I hope you enjoyed the process and learned and I hope I made this topic very simple for you so let's move on we are going through interesting questions now we've seen parallel line and now let's see how to work out with a perpendicular line thank you